All right, good morning, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so we're starting Unit 4. Unit 4 is all about systems of equations. A system of equations is like multiple equations with multiple variables. They're all tied together. Um, the first method of solving these systems of equations that we're going to look at is solving with graphing. Um, so basically, you're going to uh, s solve for y. both equations and then you're going to graph both equations all right and then um, locate the intersection uh, the intersection is the solution uh, the location or the point or the coordinate or the ordered pair where the two lines touch that's the solution to the system. Um, okay, so the reason that we solve for y initially is to get each of the equations in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to take the first equation. I'm just going to do that to show that those two equations are together. I'm going to take the first equation of x plus y equals 5. And I'm going to solve for y. The reason we solve for y is to get it in slope-intercept form, so it's easy to graph. So I get y equals negative x plus 5, okay? That is the very first equation, just modified so that we're ready to graph it. Um, the second one, I have 2x minus y equals 4. Um, I think I could subtract 2x and I get negative y equals negative 2x plus 4. And then I'll multiply both sides by negative one, or I guess basically just change the sign of everything. Uh, y is equal to two x minus four, okay? Now, this way of solving is pretty neat, I guess, but the only problem is that when you graph it, your graph has to be just right, or the lines don't end up intersecting in the right place, uh, which makes your solution not work out. So if I started this first one at negative four, I'm gonna graph this one first uh, at, at four spaces down with a slope of two. So one, two, three, four. Then um, we'll go up two spaces and over one. You have to be very precise when you're making these graphs because like I said, if you don't do it just perfectly, then the line intersection is going to be slightly off. Uh, so up two over one, up two over one, up two more over two, up two more over three. So there is my line for the first equation, okay? Um, and then this other one has a starting point of five and a slope of negative one. So we'll go up one, two, three, four, five. Step this here. So we start up five, we go down one, over one, and then we'll go down one and over one and down one and over one. So there is our solution. That space, that point that is one, two, three spaces to the right and up one, two. So three comma two is our solution. But it's hard to do with a graph. It's not my favorite way, especially without graph paper. Um, but when I say it's a solution, let's check out why. Let's take the x and y, and we're gonna plug it into the original equation. If I replace x with three and y with two, three plus two is five, okay? If I replace this x with three, two times three is six, and six minus our y value of two is four. That's the only combination of two numbers that could make this equation true. Lines can only intersect at one point, unless they're the same line, they only intersect an infinite amount of times. But a line can't intersect twice, that's why there can only be just one solution. Okay. Um, another reason why this is not my favorite method is if the answer is like fractional, like say it's three and a third, 
How are you going to tell by eyeballing where that intersection is? There is a way to do it on your TI graphing calculators, which I can show you if you're interested. Um, but let's have you try this one here. You have to be very precise when graphing it. If you have graph paper, it helps. Let's have you try 2x plus y equals negative 5. Negative x plus 3y equals 6. Try to solve that with graphing. Um, I'm going to let you have fun with that. While you're working on that, I'm going to solve it on my main board and I'll have the solution. Let's see how many of you can get it. Thank you. Look forward to the next one.